Uh, okay, hello everyone. In this uh, tutorial session, we are going to be um, uh, like uh, it's going to be giving you a guide on how to uh, create or improve your current uh, medium profile. So, um, we'll start right away. Um, okay, that will work. So before I start, the, before I share my slides, um, like we have 12 people, like maybe we're around uh, 11 or 12. Uh, so how many of you have already have a medium profile and actively write blogs there? Okay. Quite a few, like uh, four, around four. Uh, so that's very good. So, like, uh, yeah, I can see in the submissions in the, it's recommended for you to submit all your reports mm -hmm. as um, as a medium blog. Uh, so, yeah, that's very good. So, for the rest of you, you have to start now. Um, maybe you can, if you can, you can try to, like, do this and write your reports for 12, for week 12 as a blog. Um, like, uh, you can try your best. Like, uh, you can later on um, edit the blog again. But uh, for now, maybe you can try that and you can have a, a blog for the submission already on your profile. Okay. So, I suppose, like, uh, at least most of you are familiar with, with Medium. But let's start by, like, just uh, so the content of this. Um, So here, the, the title is a guide to blogging with Medium. So the point is blogging, but we are going to be um, like focusing on Medium just because like this is the recommended um, platform. Um, like previously, the previous cohort, I have seen LP people using other platforms, but like this is what we recommend, and we're going to be like brushing on a little bit on why, but. Yeah, so the content is going to be like we're going to be giving a motivation on like why we're recommending you to blog in general and why to use Medium. And uh, then like it uh, would be like um, a little bit of a guide on how to set up your Medium profile. So these are just going to be like best practices and what we like think kind of is, is, is a better way to go about it. So again, there is no exact right or wrong about this but these are just recommendations and we're going to be giving you some like um, um reasons so that it like you understand like why we say you we tell you to do this okay so um let's start with why we blog in general and before i go into this like let me hear from you um so like um the people of you who already blog, can you tell me your reasons to do that? Like, why do, are you using Medium or other platform if you are using other platform? Let me hear from you. Actually, can see that. Um, okay. Uh, exposure. So I can see, like, uh, okay. Uh, Hilary, do you want to? Do you have your hand? Yeah, uh, the reason I use is it's easier. It's easier to display my code findings and easy to edit. So, uh, we, but with a with a report like uh, docx, you can't. Uh, the reason for Abu Bakr it's for exposure, but it's easier. Okay, so it's uh, for you. It's like about writing the report itself. It looks better when you. It's easier to write it on Medium, basically. That's great. And for that makes sense because uh, Medium is actually um, a platform that is created for, for, for doing that. That means that's why it is uh, easier. It's easier than writing on a doc. Uh, okay. Uh, so, Abu Bakr, do you want to expand on what you said? Or, uh... So, exposure is a good thing. Yeah, Mahbuba is actually hitting it on the nail. It's like uh, to show how what we work on in detail for recruiters. Yes, exactly. So uh, all of these are um, 
uh, all of these are like, uh, yes, these are the heart of it, or this is actually what we are going to say, the same thing. So you, you get it, basically. Uh, Hillary? Medium is also like a platform for, for where you can, where others can, can find your post easily, like um, uh, people related in your field, so it can reach them, to them easily. Yes, yes, that's a great point also. Yes, of course, uh, because Medium is used, like you can notice this by like, when you're looking for resources on uh, things that are related to the work you're doing in this training, a lot of articles you find are on Medium because a lot of people who work in this, um, uh, in these fields are like they blog, they actually write on medium so it's a place where like people who are in the same field are sharing their ideas or like sharing like uh, how they do things and basically yes they can find your work there and of course this is um there are like uh publications actually that are that publish on medium this like uh, where you, if you can submit your work and then they publish under their name this is even more exposure but this is like a uh, another level of of heart of of uh, difficulty so this is another thing uh but yeah so what you're saying okay all of you like i get like you get this you basically don't need me to give your motivation but just to summarize let's say like what um actually i'm not sharing my screen right so uh i'm going to be basically summarizing what your colleagues have said just now in a way yeah so blogging itself is just exactly as mahuba said you have to you are showcasing your knowledge and your skills and how you go about like uh, solving a problem so you showcase your knowledge your skills and also like your thinking your thinking process about solving a problem so you're and you're showcasing your uh, critical thinking and uh also like of course when you're sharing you have like a profile with multi many like uh, blogs on like things that are related to to your field um you are building some kind of a reputation a credibility on of, of like because you are showing people not only that like you did something you're not just listing projects you're also you're showing like your work so it's building credibility you can also like because this uh people can find you there it's like a networking you can interact with people there so you can interact with people on your medium and um uh so this is one thing the other thing is this is like more about like uh like the process of writing itself. The process of writing is the, uh, the blog itself. When you are trying to write a good blog, you're going to be conducting research. Like not, you are not just like, a, I mean, I know if for your, like uh, the blogs you have been writing so far are reports, like maybe you're just writing about the work you have already done. But when you try to like, and uh, when you try to write a good blog, and this is like something that maybe you saw from the feedback you get sometimes on your report, is that you like um it's a good thing to do is that to conduct a good research you can like uh i mean the content of your blog to be good it has to you have to conduct research you have to um in the writing itself you have to clarify your thinking when you're writing this is like i mean it happens like uh for some of people it is like the thing they write and um also, if you get feedback, of course, you can understand like how other people view your work and um, in general. So, uh, so we are writing. So you're improving your communication skills. And um, and the last one, this one, this is very important. Even though, like, it's it's really it's really important, like for me or like uh, I would say in general, because as I said, I just mentioned you find that when you are looking for resources you find a lot of articles on medium that help you right and basically you're giving back by writing a blog on something that you have learned or you have done basically you're giving back to the community this is how, like how this community works so like this this is be you being part of it yes is that a question
Okay. Um, so, uh, okay, let's, uh, so this is a motivation to, to blog in general. So why Medium? As I said, there are other platforms you can actually share your blog on, uh, and you can actually build your own. Of course, you can build on your website, but okay, using uh, Medium is something like Hillary touched on. It's easy, it's very easy. It's like also a lot of people in the field already use it, so it just makes sense to be there. And um, yeah, you just get like also like uh, if you want, um, um yeah so there is this other like this is thing, uh, the uh, the last one this is like really not for you right now maybe but you can think about it later on like you can submit blogs to publications but um this will require you to write with a particular like um according to the like you have to reach a particular standards when you write so it has it, it's a different thing but uh with that option you can reach like even more people and build like a, even more credibility. But this is not something that maybe you don't need at the moment. Um, okay, so this is just a motivation on the motivation part. So before we get into it, is there other like, a, do you want to make a comment or question? Of course, you can stop me at any moment. So just like keep that in mind as always. So this is like i mean i suppose a lot of you have done this already and it's very simple to start if you haven't so after this uh, i think you will have some submission next uh, on monday or something where you, so you have to do this uh, as soon as possible you have to uh, like create your profile on medium so it's starting signing up just you need an email or a google account so it's super easy to do that so here, like when it comes to like what best practices or what we want you to maybe if you have a profile already, like this is something that we want you to 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 change or improve. So, like um, you have a profile picture, your name, your profile picture, and there is a bio. So um, we recommend that you use, uh, or let's say we require. That we that you use um, a picture of your face. Okay, so even my picture here is not good because I am far away. But my my face is not even like visible. So yeah, show a picture of your face. It has to be a good picture. So I use a high quality picture, please. Don't use a, a low quality picture. And um, maybe you can have unify the pictures you use across different platforms so you're going to be building or you already have of course a profile on linkedin um it's not necessary to use the same pictures don't, don't mind that but like yeah so in all of these profiles like um we we will require that you put a picture of your face there it's just for uh, for to be more recognizable use your name your full name not um maybe you're using some like uh, anonymous name use your actual name uh, because you want people to know basically to search for when they search for your recruiter, recruiters when they search for you they can find you basically so use your name use a bio i assume that you already have written a 50 word uh, summary of yourself for your cv right can you confirm sorry Yes, so this is something similar. Here, the number is higher. Sorry, sorry. Um, so we have six, 160, 160 characters. Sorry, it's not 50 words. So it's 100, 160 characters, not longer. But um, just a summary. So you can, like, you can start by just writing what is the, like, say you are a data engineer or you want that what that is the kind of jobs you are looking for so we can write a data engineer or like a, a, a generative ai um, um engineer or like a, the the career track you have chosen indicate that in your bio in the short bio um so it it, it is all 160 characters so you, you don't have a lot of things you can write but you can just write about the careers that uh, like um, you are aspiring to get 
So write that. And um, basically the same thing that you were writing in your 50 word summary, not exactly. So you don't need to like really list your skills, but maybe your interest, very, very short. Okay, because there is another part of the of medium where you can actually write in a longer format, like what is your interest and things that you want to work on or some stuff like or have worked on before. So there is an about section. So let me just show you this in here. So this is like a let's say a dummy profile, and you can see here like uh, you're supposed to put your picture here, my name. This is a bio, short bio, it will appear here, so I can edit it here. And um, you can see there is, uh, in this part, you have the about. So here you can, so you have a short bio here, you can write this 160 characters. So it appears with, so all of your blogs with the right hand side will be, it will appear there. So just write the most essential thing. You are a machine learning engineer, right? That there, and um, in the about section, this is something that when people like are interested in you, they will click and they will find this about section. You can write more about yourself, about your interests, about about um, the things that you are interested in working on or have worked on before. Um, think about the people who will see this. Also, it can include links to your like uh, other um social like maybe you can include the link to your linkedin here at this at this place or your github i, I don't know which like um, format I, you can actually share one link or more i'm not sure but like um just like include here what you think is suitable uh yeah so there's a question is this a question or a comment Uh, so a passport photo will be perfect, but you can also take a good picture with your phone. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't have to be really super formal, but what's important that it has to show your face. It has to be professional enough, professional-ish, and um, also have to be high quality. I am insisting on that because like it happened before that people were like, um, using low quality picture which doesn't show a lot of professionalism other than anything else anyway um so i'm commenting here about the so another thing that's good or like i'm suggesting or like, let's say you will be graded for <laughs> if that's important for you the grade so um we are recommending that you pin um of course here you will appear all the blogs you have written this applies to people who already have blogs but also you everyone else for the future um you can uh, pin one or multiple blogs on your home uh, page and there like of course you can choose the most important blogs or the thing that you the blogs that you think are especially show your showcase your skills and um, in your case, maybe it should be the blogs that are like related to the field that you are like, um, you're really going to be applying for jobs in. So if you are like, a, uh, if you are a, on a data engineering track, you want to apply to data engineering jobs, pin data engineering blogs here. So the projects that you work on that were data engineering, pin them here on top, okay? So this is about this. Uh, yeah, so another thing that you can choose, of course, a header image. Um, that's the one that appeared here. Um, yeah, choose one that is appropriate or like um, it doesn't, well, I don't know can, what I tell you to say. It can be, um, think about it's appealing uh, and like, uh, again, high quality. And maybe it can be related to what you are interested on or, um, yeah, so the, the header is like uh, more about the look than anything else. So yeah, here another thing you can see is that you can check how your profile looks on different platforms. 
So yeah, so on a mobile phone, on a tablet. And yeah, so you can also choose a font. Um, so different things that you can you can customize. Okay. In the end, I will summarize what I said before if you really didn't follow. But um, but let's say let's move on. So yeah, this one is for example of the things that I was telling you to do. Um, you can see here this person has uh, linked their. Um, their website here on their in their short bio, and also like they chose a header that were like it's related to what they do. Anyway, uh, so this is about the profile itself, about the blogs, and there are also best practices to to follow. So going forward, you have been of course having so far. Like people who have a medium profile who have been writing their reports as a medium blog so they were writing about the project they work on you can continue to do that in the future to write about particular projects you are working on personal projects or um or if you you can also write a blog about solving a particular problem this is something that you have also been through maybe in this training when you are like using a particular tool and you are facing like a problem that you needed to solve Whatever you think is can be valuable to other people, you can write about. So again, you can uh, re do your research so that you can like link to other useful references or like um, cite cite other resources. Always do that. So um, I I personally don't consider a blog to be good if it doesn't have any citations. Because like, wh where did you come with this information? You're not building on nothing. You're building on something. So site, link. You can even link your own code. So you can link like when you're writing about a, a project you worked on, you can link to your GitHub at least. Um, the GitHub repository. Okay, this is about the content, about the structure, like um, structure your your blog in a way that it makes it. Um, like yeah to make it organized of course so you can start like there is uh we're going to be covering this uh, the title the cover photo this is optional there is a introduction body and conclusion so about the title okay what's important about the title that has to be clear and make uh, like uh, really um telling the reader what this blog is about so yeah so i think you um probably have been like uh so the if the project is about something that's using a particular tools or it's reaching particular goals you have to indicate that in the title um you can think about like the other other stuff about like is the appeal of the of the of the title to, to people this is secondary in a sense so the the most important thing has to be straight to the point and convey really what the blog is about um so the cover photo you can get a good quality photo image about some about, like it's related to what you the blog is about but this is like it's kind it's, uh, it's optional in a sense but like um include it if you like um depending on what you think it's uh, it's appealing or not you can include the cover photo um Okay, so yeah, so this is like, uh, let me emphasize this, the introduction, because like, um, I'm just like seeing from some of the blogs I read, uh, like you can start, like you have the title and you jump right into the, like what you did in the project without any kind of introduction. Like an introduction is like a, something like a paragraph indicating um think about if you are reading like if you are used to reading scientific papers there is an abstract right telling you what this paper is about what the result in short are uh, they got from the people so this is like if a person get, reads an abstract they understand what the paper is about and this is a similar in a way and um so it's just like a, I think it's a, a paragraph or a few lines indicating what the blog is about in like more words like 
just to that gives the reader a sense of what is going to be in the rest of the blog. So the blog is like it's going to be include like maybe it's long or um, has a lot of text, a lot of um, other content, but just to read from the start what it is going to be about. Um, then comes the body of the blog. So you have um, this, uh, like think about dividing the, the body into sections, like, like what we usually have, like the objective, the methodology, the results, the, and then um, maybe you have a discussion or like uh, limitations, all of that you can include in the in sections. You can divide it in sections. Consider like uh, using images when appropriate. Like this is something you'll get also in the feedback on your reports. Include graphs and images when appropriate. And uh, this is something important I want you to all because like I can see this is a problem for a lot of people. Caption your graphs, caption your images such that like when a person looks at um, the graph, it doesn't need to go and read the text to understand the graph. Just write in the graph what it is about. Like if you have like uh, an X, Y, you have to like indicate what is X and what is Y like in your in your graph, if there is something like that. Um, even images, caption your images, caption everything in, in that you are including. Just, because like there is a thing about like um you want also and this is something about um thinking about the reader things that not every reader is going to be looking like reading the blog carefully line by line some of them they want to like get the gist just by skimming the blog <clears throat> and there here like the graphs and images are really important in this in for for a reader that is just skimming the, the, the blog. And um, of course, the reader can skim the blog just before deciding to actually read it carefully. So make it understandable for someone who is skimming it. And like a part of making it understandable is captioning the graph. So a graph will catch the eye of the, of the reader. They will look at it and make it so if they can just read in the caption, they wouldn't want to go and search in the text where it is. Um, Explained so include the captions as, such that it can be understandable right away for someone who's just like going through. Um of include also code snippets whenever is and appropriate and relevant. Um so okay, so this is this is um in medium you can actually like include the code blog block, so don't like uh, include um code just like text to have to like include in the code block and um okay so about the writing language um use like this is like more about writing you can think about this yourself like don't use like um really too much complicated language or too extravagant so, language really so uh, as make it easy to understand just like you know, a simple language is fine what is better actually than something complicated so if you are like sometimes uh, i know all, some of you do this and it's fine you can use like a, um that dbt maybe to help you write but sometimes the, the don't use it directly or if you are getting help from you don't use it directly try to modify it yourself and also like make sure that sometimes the language that KDBT uh, writes in is really too i don't know it's, it's too sounds too complicated it's just like make it as simple as possible to you when you write so don't think about like using like really a uh, fancy um styling just um as simple as possible is is the best uh again cite cite your extra uh, external references um whenever uh, whenever possible okay so this is uh about the body then there is a conclusion you have to include the conclusion that summarize everything that you have talked about throughout the blog 
short, so just a couple of paragraphs uh, at most. And like you really like it is necessary to have a conclusion the same way that you need to have an introduction. Uh, so okay, that's it. Um, for the best practices, I just wanted to maybe re-emphasize what I wanted to, what was required from you now. So first you have to create a medium profile if you don't have one yet. Uh, use a suitable profile picture, again, showing your face using a high quality picture. Include a short bio where you indicate like, um, right, like you, you indicate the, the kind of career that you, you you are going to into. So yeah, so like indicate data engineer, a machine learning engineer, whatever, and then like add whatever thing you think represents your interest. Um, expand on your bio in the about section. So include like you have in more text, you can include more about what you have worked on, what you were like hoping to work on. And um, if you have blogs, pin blogs that are related to your uh, career track, um, add headers, fonts, uh, like fixed fonts, and uh, also, that's finally, let me add this. Um, follow best practice when writing in blogs in general. So, um, okay. That's it. Um, any questions? Or comments? Okay, Daisy is asking, um, which is better between a first person voice and a passive tense when writing? For example, I use Ragas or Ragas was used. So definitely uh, the active voice. So use I, use Ragas is better. It's because it's easier to understand. I know Ragas was used, this is a scientific writing. Uh, it's required in some places, yes, but in blogs, you want it to be as easy to understand as possible. So yes, use active active voice. It's, it's much better. Um, of course, this is like, it's still kind of a preference up to you, but this is just what I'm saying. In a blog is not really, it's not a, a paper. So it, it has to be like easy to access and to understand. So yeah. Okay, other questions? Okay.
Okay, so if there are no questions, we uh, there is a deadline. Yes, Abrahman, I'm not sure. Like, um, um, I don't know if it's already listed or not. But yeah, there is a deadline because you are going to be submitting actually and getting a grade on your um, on your medium profile. So just let me check if there is a um, scheduled. Yeah, I'm not sure yet. So you're going to be, it might be next week or um, is it the first week of the, of the, of the, of the supported job search. So next week or the, uh, so next week or the, the week after that but i would just recommend that you start now maybe you can write if you don't have a, a medium profile already just create one very easy to create one and um maybe write your reports for this for week 12 as a medium blog just try that and um, it doesn't have to be like even if you have like already started writing a report in a doc um format you can just like copy paste that there and make uh, what is like the format changes that you need to do but it shouldn't be so hard to do that um okay and uh next week is a break right or do we have a challenge next week um i think it's a break yeah i think it's a break so probably you will not have you will not be having like a submission next week but um yeah i'm not sure about this so we'll of course we'll tell you so we'll get back to you on that so um what you don't have to like uh, it's not going to be this tomorrow so but it's uh, like uh, just keep this in mind and then you have to get back to it like maybe during the break you can like start to implement this stuff on your existing medium profile or we create a new one if you don't have one uh, okay, any other questions? Uh, okay, so... There is nothing else we can stop uh, here.